All right, guys, I'm showing some clips of yesterday's bench press and pull-up workout. Benchmark Lynn, five rounds, max rep, body weight bench press, and uh, pull-ups, either kipping or strict. So I coached the 12, 15, 4, and 5, and uh, got some good clips here. It's always helpful to see yourself in action, to see how you're moving, see what it actually looks like. Has with some good strict pull-ups. Craig here has got a good kip. Heels, toes together. Chin's going over the bar. Head staying neutral. I like it. Rusty. Gus. Shane's got a pretty wide grip there. His elbows are kind of far out. I don't know if he's getting recruitment of the pecs enough. Some good strict pull-ups with the band there. I love Chris here. He's Keeps his elbows real tight, and he just does not give up position. He probably could have squeezed that out if he had let his elbows kind of flare out, as you'll see in some of these guys a little bit later on. Ryan really driving his toes into the ground, getting a tight position. He's a little wide on his hands, too, I think. There's Jake, 155 pounds, real solid. He could be digging his feet into the ground a little bit better, but the bar gets a little wobbly on that one. I took a long clip of Tatum here. You'll see, so her elbows are staying under the bar. They start flaring here pretty quickly. So right there, flaring meaning they're kicking back and the bar slides towards her head versus staying down a little bit more. So the elbows um, kind of kick back and then the, the bar slides back at the same time. It's probably equivalent of the knees caving in in a squat versus keep, keeping your knees out and then the hips back. So right here on these ones, you can see for sure the el elbows flare out and they're not underneath the bar. And you can kind of see on the pull-ups, she's getting pretty fatigued in the lats. Then here's Nathan on the other end. He's really squeezing the lats. You can just tell his elbows stay in this locked position underneath the bar. He's hitting that same spot on his chest and at the top, down, up. Got a real good action of the bar. He's driving his feet into the ground. A little arch in his back, which is good. Then you can tell he's got, you know, the, the strong lats. He's here doing strict pull-ups. Real tight body position. One more. Goes out, gets a long set at first, and then digs for the last couple. Ring rows. Nettie doing some ring rows here really helpful in strengthening your lats. I think she was getting around 15 to 20 per round, which is really good. Trevor knocking out some, some reps. Yo, Marsh. Steve. These are probably round three, I'd guess, on win. So we've already done at least two sets. Here's Ben. A little bit of a wide grip. His elbows are a little kicked out. I don't know if he's using his pecs as much as he could. Arya, I believe her name is, if I'm saying it right. There you go, and her husband, Brian, I believe. These guys are new this week. Coming in real strong, good benches there. Keep it going. You tell by the speed on the bar, he's just repping him out that he's pretty familiar with the bench press. So Kendra, this is probably her third set, I think. And I had her, asked her to uh, really engage the lats a little bit more, keep her elbows uh, more underneath the bar. She's got a good arched back, digging her feet into the ground. It's that good locked out position, resets before each rep. And allows her to, to get a few more. Here's Kel, no stranger to the bench press. You can tell, down and up. Even has a little bit of that bounce on the bottom. Kind of allows you to uh, get a few more reps. Elbows stay tight. I think Andrew does a good job here too. You can tell his elbows slide out a little bit. Right when it, in that change of direction, the elbows go. kick out a little bit. Good tight position. 
Hitting that same spot on the bottom, nice, same spot on the top. Another. That's neutral. Bar's not wavering side to side. Jeez. Them out. I mean, 85 pounds in the bar. Practicing his butterfly, good movement. He's asking me if his chin's going over the bar, and pretty safe to say it is. Steve, you can tell his lats are getting tight, pretty fatigued. This might tight. be round four. His elbows are kicking out. They're not staying locked underneath the bar. There's Mark. His elbows are sliding out a little bit too. So when the elbows slide out like that, you just don't get to take advantage of using the pecs, the, the chest muscles as much. So then you're kind of left with using like your delts and some smaller muscles and they'll probably feel that as uh, soreness tomorrow in the top of the shoulder, the front of the shoulder. There's Grant, he's got a pretty decent go. bounce off the bottom. One more. Pretty long arms. A lot of pushing he has to do to get that full lockout. Full lockout but... Brian just decides not to do a full lockout. But he gets he about seven-eighths of the way there. Elbows stay under the bar real strong. Really uses his chest good. Lats are locked in. He's got 205 there, I think. Which might be just about his body weight. All right, that's it.